Good morning dear children. Happy Sunday to you all. Today is the 11th of April 2021. I believe last week was a glorious one for you all. You are welcome to a new week. Our last topic was, their eyes were opened. And we studied from the book of Luke chapter 24, verses 13 to 16 and 22 to 35. Our topic today is obey and rejoice. We shall study from the book of Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 2 to 3, 5 to 6, and 9 to 12. Williams should read for us. Nehemiah chapter 8, verses 2 to 3, 5 to 6, and 9 to 12, 2. So Ezra the priest brought the law before the assembly of men and women and all who could hear with understanding on the first day of the seventh month. 3 Then he read from it in the open square that was in front of the water gate from morning until midday, before the men and women and those who could understand, and the ears of all the people were attentive to the book of the law. 5 And Ezra opened the book in the sight of all the people, for he was standing above all the people, and when he opened it, all the people stood up. 6 And Ezra blessed the Lord, the great God. Then all the people answered, Amen, Amen, while lifting up their hands. And they bowed their heads and worshipped the Lord with their faces to the ground. 9. And Nehemiah, who was the governor, Ezra the priest and scribe, and the Levites who taught the people said to all the people, This day is holy to the Lord your God, do not mourn nor weep. For all the people wept, when they heard the words of the law.10 Then he said to them, Go your way, eat the fat, drink the sweet, and send portions to those for whom nothing is prepared, for this day is holy to our Lord. Do not sorrow, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. 11 So the Levites quieted all the people, saying, Be still, for the day is holy, do not be grieved. 12 And all the people went their way to eat and drink, to send portions and rejoice greatly, because they understood the words that were declared to them. Thank you Williams. Our lesson today centers on obedience to God's word which leads to joy and satisfaction. The seventh month was a special time in the Jewish calendar. Not just because it marks the beginning of their new year but also because the Jews celebrated the Feast of Trumpets on the first day. The Day of Atonement on the tenth day. And the Feast of Tabernacles from the fifteenth to the twenty-first day. It was the perfect time for the nation to get right with the Lord and make a fresh new beginning. According to where we read today, the people of Israel gathered together to hear God's law. They just returned from Babylon, the land of captivity, and realized that it was not just the city walls that need to be rebuilt, but even their spiritual lives as well. Nehemiah gathered the people to hear the reading of God's word. Ezra who was the priest brought the law before them and read it aloud to their hearing from daybreak to the noonday. As God's children, how much time do you give to the study of God's word? Please meditate on that. As the people listened to the reading of God's word, their lives were transformed. Dear children, this tells us that God is able to change and mold lives that pay attention to his word. The people of God responded by repenting and celebrating because they understood God's word. They were happy and satisfied because they obeyed God's word. The people were also fortunate to have leaders who had interest in their spiritual development and welfare. This is why Proverbs 29 verse 2a, says when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. God's word is powerful and effective to change the lives of people especially when it is presented well. When the people of Israel realized that they had gone astray in their relationship with God, they cried openly and mourned for their sins in repentance. The leaders encourage all the people to celebrate the occasion and share food, drinks and other things they had among themselves, especially with the needy. The effort of these leaders led to the progress of the people spiritually and economically. The desire of God for us is to give us leaders who have the interest of the people they are leading at heart. Let us continually pray that God give us good leaders in various capacities in our nation. More so, as children, make up your mind that as you grow, you will be good leaders in whichever capacity that God places you in the future. Let Kathy tell us our take home from today's lesson. Our take home from today's lesson are 1. Good leaders are a blessing to the people. 2. Obedience to God's word leads to happiness. 3. Pray for your leaders. 4. True repentance brings joy and blessing. 5. God forgives when we truly turn to him with a broken heart. Thank you Kathy. Our memory verse is in Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 11. 
So the Levites quieted all the people, saying, Be still, for the day is holy. Do not be grieved. Joy should pray for us. Our Lord and God, thank you for your word that we heard today. Please Lord, help us to be obedient to your word. Give us good leaders in our schools, churches, organizations and the nation at large. In Jesus' name, I have prayed. Amen. Thank you dear wonderful children. God bless you real good. See you next Sunday and don't forget to always listen to and obey God's word.